Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, we are going to see a very interesting topic, the modular exponentiation. Let's see the part one of modular exponentiation in this presentation. Let's start the session with the outcomes. Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to understand modular exponentiation with examples. Let's directly dive into the topic of the day, modular exponentiation. What is this modular exponentiation? The name itself says that we are going to have mod and we are going to have exponent. So obviously, it is a type of exponentiation performed over a modulus. It's not simply x power y we are going to calculate, rather we are going to calculate x power y mod m. In other words, we are going to calculate a power b mod m or this can be represented as a power b in brackets mod m. See, please note here why we are using bracket is that it means mod m is not for b, it's for a power b. Okay, for the whole term we have mod m and that's why in order to avoid confusion, we use brackets. So whenever it is a power b mod m, it means this mod m is for a power b only, not simply for b, it's for a power b. Let's see some examples. The examples include number 1, it's 2 power 33 mod 30. Let's see one more example. It is 3 power 100 mod 29. Let's first start with example number 1. The question is, solve 23 part 3 mod 30. So we are going to solve the examples from the base level. Firstly, we will start with some simple examples, then we will progress to some complex examples. Firstly, I am starting with 23 part 3 mod 30. It's also easy to do this. You can take a calculator, you can perform 23 part 3 and you will get the result. Then divide it by 30 and whatever you get that remainder, it's the answer for this question, right? But I want everyone to try without calculators. That's the main agenda of modular exponentiation. Even big calculations can be easily performed using modular exponentiation. So I strongly recommend you not to use calculators for doing these kind of modular exponentiation problems. Just see how I am doing. So we are obviously going to do 23 part 3 mod 30, right? That's what it is given in the question. As mentioned in the previous lecture, there are multiple ways to approach a problem and there are multiple ways to get the solution for that problem, isn't it? You can prefer any approach, but please ensure that the mathematical fundamentals are completely followed. Just see here, 23 part 3 mod 30. As I already told you, you can start with 23 part 1, then 23 part 2, then 23 part 3. Or you can simply calculate 23 part 3, whatever you get, that can be divided by 30 and the remainder will be the result, obviously. But see here how I am doing this. This is 23, this is 30, right? I can simplify this one with a small number, right? Simply imagine there is no 3 in the power now. It is simply 23 more 30. 23 more 30, the result will be 23 or minus 7, right? So what I am doing is, I am replacing this 23 by minus 7. Why? Because 23 more 30 can be 23 or minus 7. In these two values, I can see minus 7 is the smaller value. So I am taking minus 7 power 3 more 30. Now you can easily perform calculation for minus 7 power 3, right? So minus 7 power 3 only I am preferring. Minus 7 power 3 can be still reduced as minus 7 power 2 into minus 7 power 1, right? We can do this, right? When the base is common, you can add the powers, right? Here we have power 2, here we have power 1 and the base is common, which is minus 7. So minus 7 power 2 plus 1, which is minus 7 power 3. So it is now easy, right? So minus 7 power 2 is what? plus 49 and minus 7 is retained as such, mod 30 remains the same. So 49 into minus 7 is minus 133 mod 30. Now you can easily divide this minus 133 divided by 30. So minus 13 is the answer. I already told you, always represent the final result as a positive number. So it's so simple to convert this minus number into a positive number. I told you just add these two values, right? So minus 13 plus 30 it gives plus 17 as the result, right? So I am representing minus 13 with a positive number 17. How did I get this? So simple, just add this value with this value. So 30 plus minus 13 will give plus 17. So the answer for this question is plus 17. Just see here, I am not going to prefer calculators for calculating 23 power 3 mod 30. Rather, see here, I have simplified these big numbers into small numbers so that I can easily work on the small numbers and I got the result. 
Even if you try with 23 part 3 mod 30, you will be getting 17 only as the result. But the difference is, we are just working with small numbers. So that's it about example number 1. Let's now move on to example number 2. The question is, solve 31 power 500 mod 30. Do you think it is still easy to perform this calculation using a calculator? I will tell you, don't prefer calculator for modular exponentiation because we can do these jobs simply without calculators. Just see how I am going to do this. So the question is 31 power 500 mod 30, right? So 31 power 500 mod 30. No need to do 31 power 500. See here how I am doing easily. This is 30, right? Mod 30 and here we have 31. So let the power be untouched now and I am going to replace this 31 with a small number. It's like 31 mod 30, right? 31 mod 30 is what? 31, when it is divided by 30, we get the remainder 1, right? So I am just replacing 31 with 1 now. Can you see here? It's so simple, you know? Now the question is actually 1 power 500 mod 30, right? So 1 power 500 is obviously 1 mod 30. So 1 mod 30, just divide 1 by 30. Obviously, the remainder is 1, isn't it? So we have simplified this problem so easily that the answer for 31 power 500 mod 30 is simply 1. Isn't it easy? Let's now see another example, example number 3. In this example, the question is 242 power 329 mod 243. And obviously, we are going to do this easily without calculator. See, here it is 242 power 329 mod 243. Obviously, we are not going to seek the assistance of a calculator for simplifying this. Just see here. So the question is 242 power 329 mod 243, right? See here how easily I am going to do. What is the difference between this and this? It's one, right? This is one shortage. So 242 mod 243 can be 242 or minus 1. Which is smaller number? Minus 1 is a smaller number. So I am just taking the smaller number minus 1 here. Now the question is minus 1 power 329. So minus 1 power 329, it is an odd number, right? So minus 1 power odd number will give minus 1 only, isn't it? It's so simple. Or we can do like this, minus 1 power 329 can be written as minus 1 power 328 into minus 1 power 1. If the base is common, you can simply add the powers, right? So 328 plus 1 is what? It's 329. So this gives a positive number that is plus 1 and this gives minus 1. So plus 1 into minus 1 is what? Minus 1. Or you can simply write it as minus 1 power 329 will give you minus 1 only. So the result of minus 1 mod 243 is minus 1 only because it's a smaller number than this number. So you will be getting the same number as the result. I already told you let the final result be represented as a positive number. Just add this minus 1 with 243, we will be getting 242 as the result. So 242 mod 243 or simply 242. So the answer for 242 power 329 mod 243 is 242. Let's now move on to the last example of the day, example 4. The question is, solve 11 power 7 mod 13. See, in the previous case, how did I solve? I can represent this 11 power 7 as 11 power 7 itself or I can represent this as minus 2 power 7, isn't it? So here I am going to use a different strategy. Just see here how I am doing. 11 power 7 mod 13 can be written as I am multiplying 11 mod 13 7 times. Can you see here? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now we will simplify every 11 mod 13. The result of 11 mod 13 is 11 or minus 2. Which is a smaller number? 11 or minus 2? It's minus 2, right? So I'm just using minus 2. So minus 2, 7 times, right? So if you simplify this, we will be getting minus 128 mod 13. Now you can easily divide this. Minus 128 mod 13. So minus 11 mod 13 can be represented as a positive number as plus 2, right? How? Just add minus 11 plus 13. So minus 11 plus 13 is what? Plus 2. So the answer for 11 power 7 mod 13 is 2. So I told you any approach you follow that doesn't matter but ensure that the basics of mathematics are followed correctly. We can also solve this in other way like we did in the previous examples. It's simply 11 power 7 mod 13 can be rewritten as minus 2 power 7. Right, minus 2 power 7 mod 13. So minus 2 power 7 is actually this. Right, minus 2 power 7. Or minus 2 power 7 is what? Minus 128 which is this value. And that's it guys. I hope now you understood the modular exponentiation with examples. In this presentation, we have taken some easy examples. 
In the next presentation, we will take some complex examples and solve it. I'll see you in the next lecture and thank you for watching.